So, so Delane, if you want to share a little bit about Quick Start and about this restart, because not every day, just like John said, nobody ever gets to restart their business and get rewarded with bonuses and, you know, $1,000 for the product to come along with it. So, well, um, first of all, thank y'all for letting me jump on. I feel um, like y'all already probably know all this because of Jennifer, and she is the expert. I don't know what she just said about me being an expert, but that was hilarious um, because I feel like we're constantly always learning, and, and this is um, a whole new ball game for all of us. But anytime normally, this is the funny part, anytime normally that we go over a call like this and we start talking – about um, the quick start program I would normally say okay raise your hand if you're brand new or raise your hand if you're in quick start but since we're all in quick start don't do that <laughs> because everybody be raising their hands but um, how fun is it that we all no matter if you just signed on um, and Heather I think you just signed on recently right yes okay. and um, or if you've been around the block a couple of times like me and Jennifer um, like we are all on the same playing field right now. We have this brand new program um, or this program available for us as a brand new fresh start with this brand new company called the Cocoa Exchange. And so, um, Heather, you've seen this flyer, right? Yes. Okay, awesome. Um, I'm not going to do a screen share or anything like that since most everybody probably has access to that. But And it's very self-explanatory. But what's so cool about it is just all of the rewards that are up for grabs. And one of the things we say on our team is we don't leave any free on the table. We don't leave anything on the table. Like, and this company is notorious for um, giving. And, and John uses the word abundance all the time. President John talks about the spirit of abundance. And they take that to heart. And they take it all the way to the very beginning with this Quick Start program where they are constantly giving out um, goodies for us. And the reason they do that is because obviously because they can, it's Mars, but also so that you don't have to pay out of pocket for the supplies and the, the necessities that you need to run your business in the beginning. They want you to have everything that you can so that you come in and in addition to your kit, because obviously you've got your goodies there that you, you know, from your, from your kit um, that's supposed to set you up for your first few parties. Well, they want to continue that on so that you are actually building up some income with your new business. They don't want you to go and be um, in the negative. They don't want you to stay there. They want you to go ahead and see um, a, a good um, outcome from that. And so in the quick start, there's different dates that you obviously have to have uh, that are, are important. And um, we train on and we tell every single new person that comes on board. And so that's all of us, right? We're all new um, to mark your calendars in big red marker these dates so that you don't miss out on any of the free. But like for your first 15 days, if you turn in a party, um, they're going to send you a, 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 a jar of our, one of our most popular items, the white chocolate raspberry honey mustard another free product right it may not be a big box of products it may just be a single product but oh my gosh it's a free product and once again we don't leave any of that on the table so that they do that because they want to encourage you and that's in your first two weeks they want you to go ahead and set up your launch party that's the whole idea and premises behind that is they want you to set up your launch party so go ahead and do that if you haven't already with tce Go ahead and draw a line in the sand if you've been around the block a couple of times like we have um, and make that your fresh new um, foray into this business and share it with your friends because it's a whole new ball day. So literally you can relaunch and you can restart and get that, that 15 day opening bonus gift. And then you'll see on the quick start flyer, the front page, there's four different levels of additional um, goodies that you can earn. There's level one, there's level two, there's level three, there's level four. And every single one of those you earn with your sales. This is your sales portion of the Quick Start program. And so you do your $500, they're going to send you that business booster with more catalogs, more order forms, all the good stuff that you don't have to pay for. Well, once again, they're free. <laughs> so you want to grab those. So they make it so easy and achievable by doing so and then level two you turn in another $500 and you get that sweet and savory sampler 
And so each level that you hit, you're going to get all these goodies coming to your door with more goodie, more product, more collateral, more things to help you make sure you're successful with your brand new um, cocoa exchange business. So that's the front page of the quick start. Um, and like I said, this is this came in your kit. This is on um, our uh, on our main website. You know the, the connection, so you can see that. That's part of this. That is not all that we have in Quick Start. The part that I'm the most excited about and that I love and that I was so happy about when I first joined was the cash. Like everybody, I can't tell you how many people. I mean, like that's the number one reason why people join our company, right? Is to earn some heck extra yeah. money. So heck yeah. <laughs> so obviously the chance to earn additional cash on top of our commission, you pique my interest, right? And so there's a part about recruiting on um, the Quick Start. Every time we sponsor somebody in Quick Start and we help them get qualified by doing their first launch party and doing $500 in sales, you get a $50 bonus. How's that sound? Awesome. Good? Good? Yeah. Heather, you like that? I do. So, Imagine all the people on your list, because that's one of the things they teach us is to do a list, right? Imagine all the people that you could reach out to and say, hey, I just started with this new company called the Cocoa Exchange. It's awesome. I don't know a whole lot about it. I'm brand spanking new, but they told me that if I didn't like it, I could eat my kits. How about give this a try with me? You've got nothing to lose, right? right. Super simple verbiage to share with somebody. You help them get started just for trying it. The company's going to say, hey, thanks, Heather. Here's $50, right? Or thanks, Mona. Here's $50. <laughs> so it, th that money is free. I'll tell you. If y'all don't want it, I'll take it. If you don't want it, <laughs> it's <laughs> But this is a fun little fact, and Jennifer can attest to this. When I signed up two years ago, because I've only been with the company two years, I took advantage of this 100%. Like, I was all in. And I remember calling everybody. I think I called Jennifer and she laughed at me. But anyway, um, <laughs> timing was not right then. No. So, <laughs> but I, I called everybody and I said, you're not going to believe this. I'm joining this company. I don't know a lot about it. Same thing I just said, right? I don't know a lot about it. They told me if I didn't like it, I could eat my kid. They, the money looks great. Come try it with me. I had eight people to sign up with me and do this. And I got all those cash bonuses for that extra on top of my commission check. So. Wow. Think about all the people that you know in all the areas because I'm telling you, the boxes of goodies and product and, and catalogs and order forms are awesome in Quick Start. Absolutely earn them. We don't leave the free on the table, right? But focus on the money. Focus on the recruiting because that's the working smarter, not harder part of our business that literally can be a game changer for you. If you go out and you bring in three or four people, or you go out and you bring eight to 10 people or 12 to 15 people, gosh, Jennifer would like you to bring a hundred, but think of what that could change and how many people's lives you could help. Think of how much of a difference you can make in their households. But also the flip side of that is the commission. Think of the flip side there with that, the, uh, the bonuses on top of that. Your check is going to reflect you going out and taking that stand and, and sharing it. The back side of that quick start, take a look at that too when you get that, if you have it in your hand or if you get a chance to look at that, it literally will break down all of the money for you. It makes it so simple so that you can see step by step how much you can earn and how much is up for grabs in the 90 day quick start period. Um, it's crazy. It's over $1,500 worth of cash and rewards. That's not your check. I mean, like that's, that's, that's all, there's a whole bunch of extra stuff included in that. So like there's, a, that's a lot of good stuff. Um, and so that can make a huge difference in your home. I'm sure it did in mine. It did in Jennifer's. So that's stuff that we, that we want you to take advantage of. That's the stuff that we're working on just like you. Since we're all brand new, we all have a chance to earn these goodies. And so guess what? I guarantee you, Jennifer Bricado is out there doing that. I guarantee you she's out there going to try to get as many of those cash bonuses as she can possibly get. You have a wedding to pay for. <laughs> she's got a wedding to pay for. That's right. <laughs> I don't know about y'all, but I'm super excited. Um, do y'all know the dates already? Do y'all already have those marked down? Anybody? Yes. 
April 15th is your first one. <laughs> I can remember that because my husband's a CPA, so tax day. Um, and then the other one was flag day. Do you remember that date, Jennifer? It was, I don't even know. Anyway, wasn't it, another, it was it June? June the 30th, I think. June 30th? No. Dates no, for what? Be. Quick start. Oh, okay. They're the same for everybody since we all officially started <laughs> the same day. Oh, so, oh, okay. I got you. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, get, put that on your list if you don't already have it marked on your calendar so that you don't miss out on any of those. I do know the 15th of this month is the, la is the day, you know, is the first 15 days. So that's, if you get a party in, they're going to send you that free honey mustard. That's, that's oh. the first thing on the yeah, so all kinds of free stuff up for grabs in the quick start. But anyway, Jennifer wanted me to share that. I, I'm excited. I love free. You say free, and I'm like, what? I already got my first party in, so my mustard's already shipped. I saw it. Already shipped. Nice. So. Good job. Now, I'm doing my launch on Friday, so is that technically a party or no? Oh, yes. No. Oh, okay. Absolutely. Okay. Because I'm doing my launch on I'm doing my launch on Friday, and then I'm doing a, a party with my for my sister on Saturday. Well, you're just rocking it. She's got it going on. That's quick. You're going to have awesome. not only the honey mustard, but she's going to have a couple of those other ones, too, I'm sure, coming her way. Okay. With those parties. So, yep. That should be in your kit. That um, Who am I talking to? I'm sure you just I, got your Amy. kit. Amy. Are I'm you Amy. ready? Are you uh, new? I, I am under Stacy. Oh yay! Okay, cool. We love I'm the Stacey. I'm the one in I'm the new sign up in Huffman. Yes, very good. Well, the quick start flyer was in your kit, and if yeah. not, you can. Okay, I got cool. it. You got yeah, it. Stacey gave good it job. to me. Yeah, Stacey's on it. Love it. Awesome. Well, thanks, Alana, for sharing uh, about the quick start. Uh, last night we did a lot of recognition, also, and I will. I'm just going to post that on our uh, team page because I want everybody to be recognized, and I have it all laid out for everybody but I want to go over some of the uh, things that we talked about last night and uh, one of them was uh, well Delana was just talking about those uh, those bonuses that we get for sponsoring and bringing people into the business you know uh, everybody loves free money and that's just for sharing the opportunity and you know uh, think about uh, where you're at and I have to grab something real quick because I wanted to sh do my demonstration for y'all like I did for everybody else last night But um, you know, every day is a, a new opportunity for us. And uh, how many of y'all like rejection? Didn't think anybody did, because I sure don't. I mean, I get offended if somebody don't text me back. So <laughs> I really, because to me, that's rejection. You know, I reached out to you and you just didn't take the time to reach back out to me. So that, that offends me. Uh, but I, I guess I just, it offends me more now that I'm not on my happy pills anymore, too. So I don't know, but maybe so. Okay, uh, you know, um, none of us really, none of us like rejection. Uh, but how many of you feel uncomfortable about sharing the opportunity about becoming a uh, curator like you are right now? I do. A little. I just don't want to be, I don't want to be pushy. Okay, that, that's what everybody feels. I mean, a lot of people do that. And, you know, and some people, they don't like to do it because they don't like to be rejected. They, they have that fear of rejection. They're going to just tell me no. That's automatically a lot that goes into people's heads that they're thinking. They're going to, I'm, they're going to think I'm pushy or they're going to tell me no. So why ask? Uh, let me ask you, uh, are you thankful that somebody offered you the opportunity, Amy? I think so. Yeah, I I mean, stay, I went to three parties and then um, finally at my party is when Stacy said, there's really nobody in your area. And I said, okay, fine. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, that's good. I mean, yeah, you, you should be. Heather, are you excited? I, I know you've had a couple of bumps, but are you excited that the opportunity was offered to you? Well, the opportunity was, I found the opportunity. Found um it. And I've gotten over my bumps today. I actually turned my day around and I'm really excited. And I've, awesome. um, I've actually started, um, I scheduled a second party and 
tentative date for a third party already. So oh, and the first party is Sunday. And whereas I didn't think I was going to have anybody coming all of a sudden today, I've already got like six people coming. So well, great. Awesome. Yeah. Power of positive great. thinking. Thank you. That's great. Love it. Um, you know, uh, one thing that we can talk to people about right now is being in the right place at the right, right time. You know, I don't know if y'all saw just recently about the um, Snapchat stock going through the roof. You know, whenever I saw my kids on Snapchat, I was like, I told my husband, I said, you know what, it's going to be like Apple. It's going to go crazy. And that's what it is to be able to share with people right now about being with the Cocoa Exchange right now, since we just launched our brand new company and we have this amazing uh, new catalog, the amazing lines that we have to offer. And we have an opportunity because we have, you know, I was talking to John, I said, we, the president last night, I said, you know, only 1100 people became founders that had the opportunity, but we had a whole company that had the opportunity to do it. And it just showed us that only 1100 people really took their business serious to be able to want to be part of this founding group. So what that says to all of us here and all of our teams is that, and to your friends and everybody, that this is a wide open market. We have, we need so many more consultants. I know that when Delana and I worked with an, uh, one company, at one time, we had over 40,000 consultants. How crazy is that? So now, if you think about 1,100 consultants, we can share this opportunity and bust out the seams, and we can rack up on those $50 bonuses, y'all. So uh, get out there and share, and, uh, you know, uh, remember how you uh, how thankful you are about the opportunity being shared with you. And uh, think about uh, how it would feel if one of your friends joined somebody else's team because you didn't offer them the opportunity because you thought that you're being pushy or uh, the fear of rejection. I've had a friend that that happened to one of her, her best friends joined with somebody else and her friend prejudged her. She thought, Oh, cause she was a doctor's wife. She, she's not going to want to do this. And they, she saw her at a, a meeting. She's like, what, wait, what? She said, well, you never asked me. So, you know, share the opportunity, not that it's going to bother somebody, but that you can maybe impact their lives to do that. So, um, you know, uh, I, uh, I always like to say this job isn't, it can be for anybody, but it's not for everyone. So it can be for anybody, but it's just our job to ask them and educate them and let them make, let them make the decision. Uh, I want to tell you a little story about myself. Um, a consultant that did my party 14 years ago before I joined direct sales. Uh, she always told me that uh, it's our job to offer and theirs to decide. So, you know, all for that opportunity. And she, uh, at the party that she did, she did a visual for us. And she showed me, she showed us a rubber band at my party. She said, you see this rubber band? She said, you see how little it is? She said, it's just like our opportunity. It's flexible. You can either go big or you can go small. You can do as much as you want or as little as you want. And I, I'm a visual person, so I love that. And it, it still today, it resonates with me. And I actually have uh, in my little kit, I have rubber bands in there now so I can share that with them. I'm like, you know what? Whoever's here tonight at the party that I'm talking, you know, at a, an experience that I'm talking to, like, you know, if you're wanting to do what I do, but you only want to do it part-time, remember this rubber band. You can make it as much as you want or as little as you want. How big do you want your paychecks? Do you want them real big or do you want them real small? Our job is flexible. And, you know, that stuck with me uh, a lot. And she also said something profound to me. She said, you know, every 90 days, our lives change. And in this business, we need to always be planting seeds about the opportunity. Somebody might say no right now, but you know what? Something might change in 90 days. Maybe their job, uh, they lost their job. Maybe they had a life-changing event. Uh, you know, she said that to us. She said, every 90 days, our lives change. She said, what might, be, what might not be right for someone now might be right for them then. And, you know, that she, I had my party November the 19th whenever she did my party in January the 4th wasn't even 90 days when my husband had his accident that left him a quadriplegic. So she did that party and she said that to me. And it was so profound that when my husband Jay was sitting in the, we were in the hospital for six months and I told, I, I knew I had to quit my job. I said, you know what? I said, I remember uh, Debbie, the, she's the lady that did my party. I said, she said something about the business is flexible. I can do it as much or, as little as I want. I said, I'm going to have to do something or I'm going to go crazy. And um, he said, 
well, call her, sign up, do it. And so I, uh, I did. And, um, uh, and I told him, I said, you know, uh, he also said that every 90 days, our lives change and look at our life. It's just completely changed. We, there, you know, we don't know anything. It, everything's new to us. And so, uh, you know, uh, so keep sharing and planting those seeds and don't think that you're, uh, some, you're going to bug, bug somebody because it could be that one thing that people need, uh, you know, somebody, their husband might have lost their job. They might be going through a really bad time right now that they need some happy in their life. And I was telling everybody last night, I'm like, you know, for the first eight months that I was in the business in direct sales, I didn't sponsor not one person because I joined just for me, not for nobody else, but for me, I needed an outlet. I needed some happy time in my life. And that's what it was until two ladies walked up to me at a party and they said, you know what? We want to join your team. I'm like, you want to do what? And they said, and I had no idea about sponsoring at all. And I said, sure. I don't know what I'm doing. I didn't lie to them. I said, but we can learn together. And that was the beauty of it. So uh, the whole uh, point about me sharing tonight was to let you know that no matter what position you are in the company, you know, you always need to be sharing and growing your team. My goal every month is to have, uh, two new team members with us and you know that that's sometimes I make it sometimes I don't sometimes I sponsor five people sometimes I sponsor one sometimes none and uh, no matter you know if I'm at that top of that mountain uh, experience or I'm in that valley I'm always planting those seeds and watering them and if somebody told me no right now is not the right time I will go back I'll mark it in my calendar to go back and talk to those people so make sure that you don't ever prejudge anybody and offer the opportunity to everybody because you never know who's sitting there watching you that needs something. So uh, that was the bit about sponsoring. So you want to rack up those sponsoring bonuses. So make sure you're sharing, sharing, sharing. Sharing is caring, right? So uh, I'm going to go over uh, some of the, uh, I asked Stacy Lovato and uh, Debbie Hennigan to help train last night and they both did. And it, I appreciate it so much. And, they couldn't be on the call tonight, but I asked them, I said, can y'all send me y'all's notes? I, I had taken some of the notes while they were talking also. I said, can you send me your notes so I can share with everybody? Because it was really great tips. Everybody in the entire room left pumped up and fired up. Y'all can probably tell by the Team Mad page, people were excited. There was a lot of excitement in the room. So uh, I want to go over some of the things with you that Stacy shared last night on bookings. I mean, she's booking, uh, you know, she might book 14 parties and has been holding 11 parties. Woman is crazy booking. But you know what? She, uh, she had a goal last month because the company offered 50% commission, and she set her mind to it, and she made it happen. Uh, she was the only one on Team Mad that did it and uh, earned 50% commission, and today was payday, so you know she's excited. So, uh, you know, one of the things that she said is, uh, do you have a goal each month? Have you set your goal? You know, what are, what are you working for? Uh, how much do you want to make? Uh, how many parties do you want to have? Do you have that goal? You know, if you only want to do one or two parties a month, you're going to need to book four to six parties because you have to think that somebody might cancel because it happens. Um, and I'll just tell you about her, uh, Jan her January. Uh, she had 12 parties booked for January and wind up having six cancellations. So her goal was to have eight to 10 parties a month. So she knew that she had to overbook, but she never thought, and I certainly didn't think last month I was going to have so many cancellations, but I did. But you always have to overbook just to make sure that you uh, are going to ensure that you have those, uh, a full calendar and still be able to hold your parties. But, uh, you know, what commission level do you want to be at? The company offers 25 to 40% commission. You know, I always want to hit the 40% commission. I want to maximize our commission level at the, the rank level on everything so that's my goal so write your goal down and put it where you can see it every day that's you need to write it as a, if you're a visual person I am I have stickies on my computer around the top of my frame of my computer where I can see I want to do eight parties a month so I know I need to book 10 to 12 parties probably 12 parties because you just never know life happens people things happen so make sure uh, you write those goals down. What commission level you want to be at? Do you want to make, you know, $1,600 a month? Do you want to make $3,000 a month? Do you want to just make $200 a month? It's all up to you. And remember, just like that rubber band, this is flexible. You can do as little as you want or as much as you want. So, and we're going to be here to help you do it. So uh, what, it, you know, one of the things that she talked about 
about booking your calendar up is have you made your list of a hundred? You know, uh, in our new uh, our new curator guide, have y'all looked at this? Have you pulled it out of your kit? There is some great training right here in this book that helps you. So uh, go through there, and uh, and it gives you it triggers your your mind about who to, that you can uh, write on your list of a hundred that you want to ask. Hey, will you help me get my business started and uh, book a party? I really need your help to get my business started. You know, tell people what you need. They're not going to know that you need it unless you really tell them and confide in them and say, you know what, I really would love if you could help me get my business started. And maybe it's just an area that's 20 minutes away or, you know, 30 minutes away in different areas too. So start making your list of 100 people that you would want to uh, host a party for you if you haven't done that yet. Uh, and she, she even said, get it done. She said, because that's the key to it, because you really want to get it done. And you want to have that list right there. And, you know, uh, she was talking about, she doesn't even have a list of 100 people right now. She has 77. She said, but every time she sees somebody, and she keeps it in her purse, every time she sees somebody and runs in the store, she goes, and they'll say, hey, Stacy, I heard you're doing that chocolate business. And she's like, yeah. She goes, you want to have a party? Yeah. Uh, when, you, when are you going to have a party? That's what she said. When are you going to have a party? And uh, you know, they're like, oh, well, right now is not a good time, but get back to me next month. And she goes in her purse and she writes that note down. You know, she gives her a little notebook. So do that. And, and she adds that name to that list. So um, then I, the next question that she had 10, uh, 10 questions that she wanted to ask us last night. The next question was, have you launched your business or have you relaunched your business? We're all uh, brand new curators with the Cocoa Exchange. Have you scheduled your own launch or your relaunch? Uh, you've got to do that. You have to show people and invite them in your home and share this amazing uh, product line with everyone. And uh, and uh, make sure that you're uh, at your launch party that you're letting them know what your goal is. What, what kind of business do you want to have? Uh, do you want to have a part-time business, a full-time business, or an uh, anytime business? That That's really and truly what pe this business, what direct sales is. Some people do part time, some people do any time, and some people do full time. So, uh, you know, if you're an any time person, that means that you're just a hobbyist and you just want to do it whenever you want to do it. If you really need a, a $500 a month income, you're probably going to do it part time. Some of us, I know my goal every month is at least $3,000. That's my goal. So, uh, you know, write down your goals and what is your, uh, what level do you want to reach each month? Because I promise you, Dream big because big things are happening in this company. I've been with several companies before and I have never, ever had a team that has maxed out the comp plan, has rank promoted as fast as our team has been promoting. Things are happening and this company is lining us, lining us up for success. So uh, make sure you have your launch and make sure you share these things with people that being in the right place at the right time because this really is a great company to be with and they give us so many incentives incentives to max out the comp plan. So when I say dream big, make sure you write that. If you, if you have a, a fifteen $1,500 sounds outrageous to you, write it down. And go for it. And let's work a plan to make you get there, help you get there. Another thing is, do you ask your host for bookings during hostess coaching? You know, she knows her friends more than anybody else knows them. So you can ask her to get one, get you at least one booking, you know, challenge her. Hey, if you have one booking before your party, I'm going to give you X, Y, Z. Whatever you, you have that you can give away for free or, you know, give her a discount on her half price items, whatever it is. Because I assure you that if she's getting you bookings, you're going to be getting another paycheck because you're going to have those bookings coming along. So make sure that you host just coach your host to say, hey, which one of your friends is going to have the next party? She said, so that they can start planting seeds also. And whenever uh, you tell them, hey, you have one before I get there, and you're going to get this. So people love to get free stuff. So make sure you're uh, doing that also. Uh, make sure you thank your host at uh, the party, during the party also. And turn in your catalog at the party and point out exactly what the host is going to get. Show them the host rewards page. Because some of them don't know, you know, and they're like, you can say, Susie, what item are you going to get for half price tonight? And she might say the signature bundle. I, you know what? Honestly, I don't even know what bundles we have right now. So <laughs> I've been so, I've been so focused on our team meeting with the president last night. But, you know, she might say, I'm going to get the signature bundle for half price. 
and uh, Kathy sitting next to her might be have that on her order for my right? And she's like, wait, what? You can have price items for hosting a party? No, I'm going to host a party. I'm not paying for this full price. She might have had it on her order for me. And when Susie said she's getting it for half price for hosting a party, that might trigger her to say, hey, I'm having a party. And so once you identify what the host gets, that really gets people to thinking, hey, I need to book a party because I don't want to pay full price for that bundle. So make sure you're uh, opening up your catalog and sharing with them the host benefits also. I mean, it's right here in the catalog for us to so share that with them as well. Um, also, ask your host to share what uh, items that she's working toward at her party. So people that gets people thinking, and they might want to start adding those items to their uh, to their order form as well. Um, use your catalog. Uh, number five was use your catalog with booking seeds. Plant those seeds. You know, ask the customers uh, that has purchased to share what their favorite items are. Also, you know, uh, and ask the host. Uh, the, I'm I'm re I'm re repeating myself. You know, ask the host which ones that she's going to get for half price again. And what whenever uh, people are talking and communicating through the party, that will get people to think, oh, you know what? I can't get all of it because everybody's talking about all their favorite things. I better have a party. That's another way to get another booking because we can't all buy it all. Well, some people might be able to, but you know, it's better to get it for free and half price than to pay full price. At checkout, number seven, uh, I must have skipped over a, a, a step here. Let me see what number six was. Oh, she was talking about play the uh, Coco Cash game. I, I, I uh, posted that on uh, Team Mad the other day, the Coco Cash. You know, uh, play a game that's going to get people asking questions. Um, you know, give them $500 for whoever's going to plan the next uh, tasting with you or the next experience. Who's going to book the next experience? People will, you know, if you play a game with them or a purse game, something like that with the Coco Cash, say, look in your purse for the let something that starts with the letter B. And whenever they pull out something that starts with the letter B, they say, you can say, oh, B is for booking. Who is going to book their first tasting tonight and give them some Coco Cash? You know, you might just be given a door prize of, um, if it was, well, since y'all are all new, it could have been a pretzel stick from our pretzels collection, you know, last catalog. But, uh, you know, people love to be competitive and do things like that. So people be like, oh, I'm booking the first party. You know, that happens all the time because they want to get that cocoa cash in their hand. And if, if somebody by the end hasn't booked one, you're like, okay, I have $2,000. Who wants to uh, get, you know, and that, that paper don't mean nothing, except it might, they might get door, a door prize. So, um, Another thing was at checkout, make sure you ask everyone to host a party. Do not forget to ask everybody. Even the person that maybe didn't, wasn't able to make a purchase, that's the perfect person to ask because she wasn't able to make a purchase. There's a reason why she wasn't able to make a purchase. Maybe she didn't have any money and she was just embarrassed and didn't want to even come up to the table to talk to you. You know, just go in and say, hey, I hope you had a good time tonight. You know what? Were you interested in uh, having a tasting? I would love to come and do an experience with you and your friends so that you can get some free things. You know, and just saying it what, and being compassionate toward her and instead of snubbing her like some people are like, oh, I'm not talking to her. She didn't, she didn't purchase anything. You know, just go and just make her feel okay about it and offer the opportunity to host with you. Uh, are you making follow-up calls from everybody that made a purchase from you? I know I'm not. But Stacy does, and you know I, I need I need to be diligent about that. I need to take the time to do it. She goes through every one of her uh, order forms and calls those customers to say, "Hey, did you get your product? Did you open it up? What was your favorite thing?" You know, she said nine times out of ten they'll order something else, or just or they'll say, "Oh, I've got to get some more," of that. and she'll turn it into a booking. Hey, you want to get some more? How about get it for free? Let's book an experience with you and your friends. What can we show them? What can we teach them? Who loves to cook? You know, get some of your friends together and let's do that. And she turns that into a booking opportunity also. So that's a great way. I mean, you're just call. How many stores do you know call and follow up with you whenever you make a purchase? I don't know any. I mean, I know that Albertsons don't call me every time I go over there, and that's every day. 
So, you know, just can you imagine uh, just calling the follow up and say, hey, it was so nice to meet you. Uh, I'm sure you got your product by now. And especially now that we can direct ship to their homes, they'll get it even faster. So do those follow up calls and just see. Even if you took, you know, five of those order forms out of each party and you made a follow up call, just to see what your ratios are and see if, what an impact it has on your business and your calendar. Uh, do you carry catalogs and samples along, around with you? That's a great way to get a booking. I know I have a stack of catalogs in my car, and every time I go into a store, I stuff one in my purse. I mean, I have a diaper in there for my grandbaby, I have a sippy cup, but I always have a catalog, and I have, and I have something in there. I usually have little baggies of cinnamon dusted almonds, which we call our dove, well, we called it the dove crack. But, you know, just to sample, I'm like, you've got to try this. You know, you're going to be hooked. But this is nothing, and I always tell them, like, this is nothing compared to our cooking line because I know that you love to cook and entertain. You know, if I see one of my girlfriends, I'm like, you've got to have an experience so that we can get together so I can share this with y'all. I said, this is like gold. Well, Y'all have got to be part of this. So make sure you use carrying catalogs and uh, some samples with you in your purse whenever you go out. Uh, and also another thing that she was saying, and I've, done, I've started doing a lot more, is do you advertise on Facebook? Do you do Facebook live videos? You know, I, I'm actually going to step out of my comfort zone this week and I'm going to show people how to make the honey mustard dressing. Just people don't know. People still think I sell soap. So, you know, uh, <laughs> some people don't know. They don't, I'm like, soap? No, I sell chocolate, cocoa. But, you know, just go out there and, you know, and step out of your comfort zone and show, share somebody how we make our savory dip. Savory dip people love that. You know, or share with them how easy it is to make guacamole. I know that that has been a huge seller of mine is the guacamole. Amy, I'm sure you had that at your party. Uh, the guacamole is awesome and it's easy. And people, I mean, instead of buying one bottle of salsa and hot sauce, they're buying two because they love it that much. So uh, definitely uh, step out of your comfort zone. Advertise on Facebook and uh, try to do some of those, uh, those live Facebook videos to help. Uh, increase your bookings or your experiences I should say you know and one of the things that she said is make them fun make people want to be there with you uh, she has a lot of workstations at at her parties and I've incorpor I've started incorporating just one interactive uh, station at my parties and we've been either uh, we're doing the guacamole or we're doing the salad dressing so just to show people how quick and easy it is and how much fun it is. And, you know, during your presentation, you can say, okay, what are we going to make at your, uh, at your experience? And that gets people thinking, oh, can we do the, uh, the uh, tacos? Or can we do, you know, the, uh, the, veg the roasted vegetables? People will ask different things. So just, you know, make sure you use those words to see how many experiences you can get booked. I know Stacy's walking around away with, from each party with uh, two to three bookings. So. That's a, that's a great turnaround, I think. So, um, you know, let, her, let them do the things at the party and get their hands-on experience as if they are uh, having fun. Another thing that Stacy does is she does a scavenger hunt through the catalog for Cocoa Cash. She'll go through the catalog and say, who can find the uh, Carolina barbecue sauce? And she'll, you know, have them go through the, uh, the catalog and say, did you see what's on this page? And that, that's another thing that she does at her uh, experiences. So, uh, that, you know, make it fun. Make people want to be around you. And I know that once they do, you know, I, I crack jokes about myself all the time at the party. I'm like, I know y'all think I eat all the chocolate line, the Dove Signature line, but I really don't. Debbie Hennigan does that, not me. But, uh, you know, because Debbie's a stick and I'm not. And so, uh, I'm like, but people think I eat all the chocolate. But I eat the savory line. But, uh, you know, and I crack jokes all the time and get people laughing and having fun. And in, even if it's at my own expense, but uh, have fun and just enjoy what you're doing because that's going to make people really want to be around you that much more. Um, so uh, then we have hostess coaching. Once you get those bookings on your calendar, what are you going to do to hostess coach? Um, let's see. I, I have to pull Debbie's notes up on my phone because she used some kind of program that would not open on any of our computers at home. So, uh, you know, hostess coaching, it really is the backbone of your business. And if y'all haven't hostess coached before, uh, yeah, oops, somebody's phone's loud. Uh, definitely, you definitely want to start doing it 
or get with your sponsor to find out what hostess coaching really is. Um, you know, uh, without proper hostess coaching, it's like, you know, going to work, going, going to be a Marine in your pajamas and, you know, not sleeping all day and just sloughing off. You can't do that as a Marine. You have to be on board all the time. And that's the same thing with hostess coaching. You have to be on board, you have to be prepared, and have to have your A's, B's, and C's all lined up. Uh, or your parties aren't going to be successful. So you just wasted your time. And you wasted your hostess's time also. Uh, the best thing to do is get to know your host. Uh, it's very important to know her and what motivates her. What is she working toward? You know, uh, ask her the reason why she decided to host. What was the thing that she loved the most about uh, the products? And, uh, you know, go off of that and uh, get to know her personally ask her questions about her family about her children does she work full-time you know you're building a relationship with her and that is so important whenever you're um, your hostess you know nine times out of ten I personally they become my really good friends I actually uh, went and met one of the uh, ladies today you know just, she was a host before and now we're friends I didn't know her from Adam before but now we're friends we talk quite often now uh, you know create a system that works for you uh, Debbie has created a checklist that she uses, a hostess coaching checklist. It's right here. And she sent it to me. And I'm going to uh, I'm gonna post this on Team Matt also because everybody was taking like 10 of them last night. So she, create, she created this checklist so it helps her to stay organized, stay focused. And I know Debbie has a lot going on in her life. She, she's a caretaker for her parents. But her husband also had a stroke last year. And so... He has, you know, she needs to be, she has to be on guard for him too and helping him. So she's like, Jennifer, I need to, I need a system. I need to be able to focus. And she said, I have to create something that helps me do that. So she created this checklist and it's a great hostess coaching checklist. So you don't forget anything. And she said also to be consistent from one host to the next, you know, hostess coach each host just the same. So that whenever, if somebody booked a party, so if uh, Amy booked a party off Delana's party, and I hostess coached Amy to a T, but I didn't do the same with Delana. I just shortchanged her. So Amy and Delana might be talking and say, oh, did Jennifer tell you about this? Well, no, she didn't tell me about that. Did she offer me this? No, she didn't offer me that. Treat them all the same, just like it's the first time you hostess coached. Because you, your friends talk. So you want to make sure that you're you know, doing the same thing for each host. Um, and then the hostess packet. You know, uh, Make sure you go over the uh, packet contents with them at if they're booking it at an experience. You know what? You might have two or three people behind them in line, but treat them. You know, start your hostess coaching right there. Pull out your packet and show her exactly the in that uh, packet. And I know that uh, Debbie Hankin also uses uh, the Steps to Thousand Dollar Party that uh, Debbie Haley had uh, created, and uh, she had that also last night. Um, Never just assume that uh, your hostess knows what information that's in that packet. She may have never hosted a party before. Don't think that she's the party queen. So, uh, you know, example, explain the, explain the order forms to her and tell her what they're for and don't assume that she knows. Uh, you know, and uh, tell her, say, okay, whenever I get to your house, have at least three of these filled out with orders so that that's how we're going to get your party to that thousand dollar level. That's one way to get it there. You know, if you fill out all five of them, that's great. I'll send you more. I'll get you more. Write it on a piece of paper. You know, showing her the order form and uh, being able to help her uh, have that thousand dollar party is letting her know how committed you are to her as well. Uh, number uh, four that Debbie had here was, you know, in stress to your host invite 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 over invite just like we have to overbook our calendar we have to over invite our uh, tell our hostesses to over invite because people are going to have life come up just like last night at our team meeting uh, three of them had the flu there was a death in the family one got engaged you know you just never know what's going to happen so make sure that uh, she over invites to have a successful party because who wants to have went out and purchased this grocery list that we had for them and then nobody show up and she you know she, your host is going to feel awful so we want her to feel great so uh you know teach her how to invite guide her through the uh invitation and uh you know uh share word choices with her you know whenever she's uh 
that she's going to be texting people. I know that we, I personally, and I know Debbie does too. I know that John probably was cringing last night because Debbie talked so much about a uh, red stamp and not about Margo. And, uh, and she was showing her pictures of her menu and her pictures of her invitations, and her pictures of her text from uh, red stamp. And uh, you know, I use it too. I, it's just easy. It's easy to, uh, edit if you have if you have never used red stamp once you create one you can go back and edit and make it personal for another host and for their party so it's just so easy to use red stamp but uh you know tell her that's a way to invite some people just like to text nowadays some people do facebook but you you can't rely on just those avenues whenever you're inviting so uh and also you know she might think that she only has 10 friends but go over a list with her we call it frank you know, uh, go over the list of Frank with her, uh, friends, relatives, acquaintance, neighbors, and kids. You know, go over that list with her. And if you don't have kids, uh, you know, your friends' kids. Use those <laughs> those people that you might know. Uh, you know, start triggering her mind. Uh, who do you go to church with? What about your coworkers? What about your neighbors? You know, think people that she might have not thought about. So, yeah, you trigger those thoughts for her and help her. Uh, drink, uh, make her dream list of uh, people to invite for her uh, her experience. Um, let's see. Uh, set expectations. Refer to. Uh, she says that there, there's a three step, three easy step flyer. Set the bar higher. Go for a thousand dollar experience. A, a, uh, and let her know that you're with her all the way. Remind her that uh, you're a team. You know, that it's a partnership. You're, you're in business together for, at this party. You're trying to get her the most free items, half price items, whatever, you know, that you could possibly get her. So let her know that you're, this is a partnership that you're uh, working with her. Um, another one is uh, find out which way that she likes to communicate. You know, some, some of my girl, people that I talk to, they're like, please don't call because I'm working or I have a grandbaby sleeping or my kids are doing this or whatever. Just text me. Some people might want to just Facebook message and you know, find out which way is the best way to, uh, sorry y'all. Y'all not boring. I'm just tired. I'm exhausted. Daddy. Hey, why aren't you resting? resting? <laughs> she's, she's like, why aren't you resting? I'm like, why do you keep asking me questions on Facebook? On Facebook? No, but, uh, you know, uh, Find out which way is the best way to communicate with her and use that form of communication with her. You know, and always make your host feel special. Uh, she should feel like she is queen of the day at her uh, party. And uh, she's the only person on your calendar. Make her, you know, make her feel like I'm going to, I'm working for you and I'm going to make this experience the best you've ever had. And, you know, with the Cocoa Exchange being as great as it is, it is now, that's just a win-win for us. And it's just so easy to do now. Uh, you never know that she, she just may turn into your next team member. So host just coach her like she is going to be your next team member. So that way, you know what you just did? You just did one-to-one -one training with her for whenever she joins uh, your team, she knows how to host this coach just like you just did. So don't shortchange anybody because everybody deserves to feel like she's the only person on your calendar. Um, so, you know, and praise her for the steps that she takes to make her party a huge success and do that in front of her friends at the party. And like, you, you can say things like, you know what? It was so great working and developing a friendship with Sally and y'all, she worked her party. She shared this with everybody. And I think that she, would be an incredible curator with, you know, the Cocoa Exchange and just praising her and letting people know how awesome she is. That, that people want that kind of praise too. So they may be the ones that's going to be booking the next tasting with you. So uh, that's a little bit that Debbie had shared on hostess coaching. I know she did such a better job. I wish they could have joined us tonight, but they have other uh, obligations, but I wanted to, just to come to y'all tonight because I know that the ones that aren't local, feel a little disconnected. So I wanted to help you feel more connected and to give you a little bit of tools to help you to go through this quick start and be so successful. And know that, uh, you know, even though that we might, you might not be in my backyard and I'm not in your backyard, I'm still here for you. And I know we have a whole team of leaders that are here for you to help you be successful. So 
Delana's on the call. I know she's tired. Heather, she's Eastern time zone too. So uh, I, uh, I just wanted to take that time with y'all tonight and just to let y'all know that I'm here for y'all. And I hope that this helped y'all and uh, triggered a little thoughts for you and uh, for you to take some little notes to help you uh, get your business to the level you want it to be at. So uh, that, that was our training in a nutshell. I know I uh, kind of simplified it a little bit, but I wanted to make sure y'all had something to uh, get y'all going. And we're on day seven right now. So, you know, we only have really technically seven more days of our first level of the quick start. So we have seven days to get that free bottle of honey mustard. So uh, make sure y'all are uh, getting it and getting your calendars booked. Ask everyone, make your list of 100. Hostess coach, uh, Amy, you have a party on uh, Sunday, you said? You know, I, have one. I have one Friday and Saturday. Okay, Saturday, you know, let your uh, host know, well, she's your best friend, you know? Well, yeah, well, it's my sister and my friend. Oh, okay. Well, make them feel like they're even extra special because they oh, really are. They're going out for you. I haven't seen my sister in months. I'm ready to see her. <laughs> oh, well, that's awesome. Yeah. So, you know, uh, just take those extra steps, you know, and start making those calls for those ones that have purchased from you at the parties. Okay. And whenever, after y'all get y'all's business. I had, a, I had a few already um, order off my, off the website. Right, you did. And that was before the I was taking Stacy today because one of the one of my friends ordered some stuff and she got the wrong thing, but it's right. because I guess they were out of stock. Right. So that was in our cocoa notes, and somebody uh, asked me that today. Uh, yeah. They were trying to make a substitution because the uh, stock was running so low that they yeah. were making substitutions for things that were right along that line. So, yeah. so hopefully. They're okay with that. Right. Well, two, they're both fine. Good. I like to hear that. <laughs> One girl said, I wanted caramels. I'm like, well, those sold out a long time ago. <laughs> well, I just, I just sent Stacy the one, the first time that I got the message from my friend, she got the wrong thing. And I said, oh my gosh, what a, it's my first ever order and it's wrong. And then I guess they just substituted or whatever. And then the girl today um, called me and said, I didn't order this. I ordered the, I, she ordered the, the bundle, the spice bundle or whatever, but they were out of one of the, one of them. And so they gave her two free uh, sweet and spicy rubs. I'm like, well, you're getting X, you're getting more than what you ordered. Don't rub. <laughs> I like you, Amy. I like me. I I told her, <laughs> yeah. I told her if you don't want them, I'll buy them from you. I mean, golly. <laughs> Yeah, so. you can use it in that. You know, I use that uh, cocoa rub. We down here in uh, Louisiana, we uh, we have Tony Sashery's, and it's mm -hmm. a, a seasoning. And yeah. I use the cocoa rub just like I use our Tony Sashery's. And we actually sent uh, the president home with a bottle of uh, Tony Sashery's last night. <laughs> so, so, uh, so it was exciting. But does anybody else have any questions? I hear cricket. Didn't hear a cricket either. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, hey, Heather, by the time we get done with all of us Southern people in here, you'll be talking just like us. <laughs> Do I sound bad? <laughs> no, I think it's great. I wouldn't mind sounding like you. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I love it. Uh, hey, I'm, I'm from deep East Texas. Oh, wow. Wow. Well, that's why I have the draw. Yeah. <laughs> Atlanta's like from me. North Carolina, and she has that draw more than I do. So, who hey, were you talking about? You? I'm not in North Carolina. Uh, South Carolina. What? I, I said North Carolina. I'm sorry. I'm thinking about somebody else. Sorry. Oh my gosh! And how long have you known me? I, I know. And I think Marion's on, and uh, this is uh, Marion's on Rachel's team also. So uh, we have just people all over the country tonight. So. But uh, thank y'all for getting on, and I hope this, this helped y'all a little bit. And uh, if y'all have any questions, just know that I'm here, and uh, your uplines are here for you. And But if you can't reach them, I'm available. So I might have a grandbaby yelling in the background or a dog barking in the background. I'm surprised they were quiet tonight. But uh, just know that we're for y'all, and we're, uh, we're excited to have y'all on our team, and I can't wait to see where our team's going to go. It's just exploding with growth. So, 
good luck with y'all's parties and y'all make sure y'all message me and let me know how it goes. Okay. Or text me, whatever. Text me, message me, whatever way is best for y'all. I, I respond to all of them. Thanks to Lana for getting on with us tonight. Oh my gosh. Thanks for letting me, y'all. I'm super proud. If you can't get Jennifer, reach on up. We're, yep. I mean, like, everybody, we're one big happy family, which is a good part of this company. So, and we take that to heart with our, with our team. So, um, yeah, I'd do anything for Jennifer's group. So let me know. Thank you. Okay, y'all. We all have a great night and huge success this weekend. And uh, just know that, again, we're here for y'all and we're cheering y'all on. Thank, Thank you. Good night, y'all. Thank you. Good night. Bye. Bye.